Hey, how are you doing? Today, we're finally, finally unboxing Born Pink by Blackpink. It's been years. It's been years, okay? We won't talk about it. We all know the drought of Blackpink. But finally, finally, we have another Blackpink unboxing on this channel. Of course, I had to go to Target. So all of these are from Target except the kit and digipack albums so yeah um we have all three versions the black pink and gray versions um and i also got an extra pink that you'll see later but i am so happy the girls are back i am loving this era still loving it i don't know if it's over or not i i think it is i don't really know to be honest not quite sure but i love this album i love all the songs off of it honestly i'm not gonna sit here and complain and be like oh it wasn't worth the two year wait blah 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 i don't care i've waited much longer time periods for my faves to come back so honestly the two years went by fast it would have been nice to have something but i don't know i know they're a k-pop group and comebacks are supposed to be frequently but as somebody growing up with the western music industry waiting two years was honestly nothing compared to like four six eight years that it could take somebody to build up an album so honestly i don't care about the wait i don't mind it we got stuff kind of in between with solos a little bit i know it's not much that like everybody wants but i i'm not gonna dwell on the negatives because i don't care i just like that the album's here and I've enjoyed it, honestly. Um, but before we talk about the album, I'm just going to talk about the inclusions. They're kind of all the same going forward. Uh, that was me not realizing everything was out already. There's two posters. I know one of these has to be the Target exclusive. Couldn't tell you which one. Could not tell you. My guess is probably that one. I don't know. It looks like it could be a Target exclusive. I'm not sure. I wish Target did photo cards as a pre-order thing also stickers the stickers were they're stickers they they are all the same through the concept the only thing that, that changes is that born pink and i think that's like a pre-order thing but anyways we have these large ass postcards they are so stunning but i despise that black one because it it attracted so so many fingerprints also we have jisoo um, if you don't know, we're a Jisoo collector in this household. Also, please ignore that there was, like, cat fur on that photo card. Ignore it. But we got two Polaroids and one photo cards per album, which honestly hurts my heart. Because, first off, these, these albums were expensive at Target. I love buying albums at Target, but, oh my gosh, they were, like, $50. I understand why people price match. I get it now. But I don't like that I either have to buy a photo card or buy another album to have Oh also why why were there no no CD holder pluggy things? I don't know what they're called, but the foam that goes in the middle to keep the CD there. Why is there none of that? Is that a new thing? Is that environmentally friendly? Not sure. Let me know. But the photo cards. There's two photo cards and two Polaroids, each version per member. It's a struggle. I also can't find them on Macari yet. I know it's a little bit too early, but I have to buy two photo cards. Well, three. Three photo cards to complete Jisoo's set. And it's a struggle we're facing right now. The trading has kind of been easy. Not surprised. I think there's a lot more Jisoo collectors now than in the past. Because when I first started collecting Jisoo, it was very easy. Especially the last era. That one was pretty fast. Right now, I'm a little struggling. Bangs Jisoo, I can't find a trade for it. Everybody wants her. Well, everybody wants a Bear Jenny. I want Bear Jenny too. I'm not even going to lie. But every time I see the Bangs Jisoo PC, it's gone. Gone before I can even snatch her up. I respect it. And I welcome all these Jisoo stands. But please, I need it too. 
um but let's go ahead and talk about this album because honestly this unboxing is kind of fast and like i said i really like this album so we got our first single or like pre-release single that's what they're called pink venom and i'm gonna be honest the first listen i don't know it's quite normal for me to not click with a song the very first listen but i was feeling it and then when we got to like the chorus lost me i wasn't expecting that it felt very boring very mm, take that pink venom hit them pink venom, that that mm. but i knew after the first time i listened to that it was gonna get stuck in my head after the second listen it was fine i knew i was gonna like it and then i could not stop going around singing that part it's plagued me Ever since, like, before the album release, that part has plagued me. And I'm so sorry to my mom, who has had to listen to me sing that part one too many times. But also, they killed out the VMAs. Also, my, my queen, Taylor Swift, dancing, making a TikTok to Pink Venom. My worlds are colliding. Next up is the title track, Shut Down. I love Shut Down. I was obsessed the first listen. It got me hooked right away. The music video is so pretty. Well, pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty was not the word that I was thinking about right away. But I love the music video. I love Shut Down as a song. And I could not get enough of it when it first came out. I was like begging my friend, please listen to it. And he just wasn't in the mood for new music. And honestly, that was really ugly of him. But I respect it because I've been there before. But I couldn't get enough of it. Suddenly, I didn't know Pink Venom. Then I ran to the album because I needed to hear it. Obviously, we already knew how many tracks were going to be on it. But I just wish that there was more. I'm greedy. I'm going to admit that. I wish there was more, but I, whatever. I will take what has been given to me, but type of girl, type of girl. I cannot get this song out of my head. It's a problem. The album's have been out for what, like um, a few weeks? I'm so bad with dates. I don't even know what today is. Every single morning, I have woken up with this song in my head. I'm going to kill it before I could even overplay it. Concerning, but I do like it. I really love this song. Um, I saw that this song had like mixed reactions, but I love it. And you can't take that away from me. Following type of girl is yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, I thought that that was going to be my friend's favorite song. It has like a fun... I don't know if disco is the right word. I can't explain things properly anyways. But it has like that disco-y beat that almost a lot of songs are using these days. But I love it. It feels good. Like I want to jump around and dance to it. Like it's a girl's night out type of song. And it just, it feels happy. I like it. I like the feeling that I get while listening to it. Hard to love. Rosé. 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 She really did what she had to do. I wish that Hard to Love could have been her her solo, like on the actual album. I love Gone and On the Ground. They're great. They honestly they're they're dead to me at this point. Like I don't really I don't really feel anything when I hear them those songs. Um honestly that might be ugly of me to admit and I'm so sorry. But when they come on, I just skip them now. I don't like them. I don't feel like... I don't know what I feel like. <laughs> but I wish Hard to Love was her solo. I felt like that would have been such a good solo for her. Her vocals are so strong, so heavenly. They just, they sound perfect. Perfect. I can't get enough of it. That actually turned out to be my friend's favorite song. So honestly, he has taste. But... The gut-wrenching song, The Happiest Girl in the World, follows. I, it immediately went on my sad playlist. Enough said. I love listening to my sad playlist, no matter what my mood is. But The Happiest Girl, 
it's devastating devastatingly beautiful i love it also the digi pack i only got jisoo i might go back and get the other girls but i don't really know i don't know i don't uh i can't because october is starting to be busy next up is tally tally's probably my least favorite off the album well tally and ready for love are my least favorites but that doesn't mean that they're bad songs okay they're not bad songs they just ended up at the bottom of my personal tier list tally has really grown on me since coming out before i didn't really like it but i love it now i love the message leave them alone get out of their business ready for love it's fine we had like the PUBG. is it PUBG? I don't know what game it's for um we already had that like animated music video for it so like it wasn't really anything special when i heard it so i think that's why overall i give the album a 10 out of 10 i really enjoy it i'm still enjoying it to this day as we know the same day this album dropped their tickets went on sale and well for general sale the whole week there was already sales anyways um i did not join the blink membership i was going to and then at the last minute i just was like uh whatever is there friday i'll fight for it's fine and i'm kind of glad that i didn't because i saw that the codes were messy anyways the tickets me and my friend we tried our hardest for tickets we were going for either vip or just like a regular ticket but not resale and not official platinum and i managed to get two vip tickets for us but i had them in my cart the timer was ticking down we were stressing not knowing what to do i look at the price and it's eighteen hundred dollars i divided it by two it was like five hundred and ninety two dollars each but i was gonna pay for them and then my friend was just gonna pay me back but he was like i'm gonna have to do like a layaway i'm like girl i need to do a layaway in the end did decided not to get those tickets we release them back to the wild. So me and my friend decided that we're just gonna go to California anyways um, and see if we could buy tickets like same day like people do. I'm sure the tickets are gonna be really expensive still. Um, but while we're in California, we're just gonna go to like Universal. If we can't go to the Blackpink concert, um, it's a Saturday, so we'll probably like do something in maybe we hope we could go to like a drag bar i don't know the, the possibilities are endless on a saturday night in california so yeah that was really unfortunate but that is it for this unboxing i hope you've been enjoying this era as well um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye